Okay. All right, we're on the air. Good evening, everybody. Steve here. Well, tonight I'm going to give you what's going to start being my weekly news on economics. Last time I did that, it got a lot of responses from a lot of people. And it seems everybody's very, very concerned about the economy. It's about eight days ago since I did Black Monday. It's now Wednesday, or nine days ago. So I thought that I'd go through what's happened in the last week, just on my website alone, because I don't just follow economics. That's only one of many, many topics I talk about normally. But again, as I mentioned last time I talked to you about economics and the potential for a total financial collapse soon, if not this October, within months, experts are saying. But I thought I'd just take you through some of the articles of some of the top experts in the world, those who manage money, those who know how the markets are um, and what they're advising. And I think it's actually good to advise others about what they can do about it. What are you going to do if there is a financial collapse? How will it affect the average Joe? Is there anything we can do? How can we prepare? So anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to go through the latest articles according to my website here that I put on there. And on on today's page on my on the first page of my website. My website, by the way, is www.outthebottomlesspit.co.uk Look for the front page because my website is very extensive. It has a, it's based a lot around my eight books, but also I have a front page talking about economics and um, all the crazy things going on, on this planet, especially in the last three years. There's loads of stuff on, on my website about all that. But anyway, we're going to focus on economics tonight. And the first article I've got here from the economic collapse blog.com it says are you prepared for the coming economic collapse and the next great depression now look at these numbers here this is so shocking it's hard to believe 46 trillion dollars in financial wealth has already been lost during the great global market crash of 2022 you heard that right so they're already saying the crash is already here i have to wait for the crash it's already here. It's been going on apparently since November 2021. Here it's saying that they've lost twice the GDP of the United States for two years. In other words, what America makes with all its business, everything they do in a whole year, well, twice that amount of money has been lost. It lost business, lost wealth because of the economic turndown over the last year. Of course, the average Joe doesn't notice it so much, except the prices are going up and, and, and gas is getting expensive or petrol is getting expensive at the petrol pump and prices of things have gone up 25% over the last year. He notices inflation and a few other things, the average person, and maybe it's getting tight on their wages and, and stuff, having to tighten their belt. Well, it all started, of course, with the COVID years. And that's caused the crash, the financial crash. But I'll just let the experts talk to you. You'll see how many things have been on my website just in the last eight days. I only just put a few things on every couple of days or so. Anyway, from today, it said that $46 trillion in financial wealth has already been lost during the great global market crash of 2022. Quote from the above article. It's been a tough year for investors, with global stock and bond markets erasing 46.1 trillion, not billion, trillion dollars in market value since November 21, according to Bank of America. <clears throat> Here's another shocking thing here. Uh, I, I didn't believe it until I read it. It says one of the most powerful world banks, and that is Credit Suisse has lost 60% of its value in the past year alone. And that's from Charter Credit Suisse from Wall Street on Parade.com. 
Of course, these are from sites that deal with the Wall Street and with the markets and the banks. Here's another one. It's a full market meltdown mania and the fire truck is on fire. Well, that's again, that's from the Great Recession blog. Here's another one. Central banks add gold for fifth straight month. Well, if the banks are starting to save gold and instead of investing in the markets or in investing in uh, derivatives and money, cash, then something's afoot. I would say uh, if you've got plenty of food in the house, like at least an extra month of food in case everything goes to pot, and I'm talking about them turning off the electricity, the gas, uh, God knows what can happen. Generally, these things happen slowly over a period of time, years even. But it seems like this has already been going on for the last year, and most of us have not been quite aware of that. This has already been crashing for the last year by these numbers. And the fact that the banks are hoarding gold... I'd say this for those out there who have money in the bank, like if you have money in deposits, I'd get them out of there now, seriously, and put your money into gold or gold coins or silver, something of that order. That's what everybody says. I mean, I'm no finan financial genius, but I, just by reading what the experts say, I can see what's a sensible thing, because if even the banks are hoarding gold all over the world, which is happening as we speak, there has to be a reason for it. But of course, you've got to hedge your bets, as they say. And I, I think, first of all, make sure you've got plenty of extra water in your house, plenty of extra food, and alternative heating, if at all possible. I know it's a pain in the, I won't say the word, pain in the neck, you know, to have to even think about these things, but we have to, because... The whole financial system is working against us. And the worst thing is we're seeing we're seeing that for years we had no inflation. And now we've got runaway inflation, hyperinflation. And it's in times like these that you get financial crashes, like in the early 70s, I remember well. 1973, 74, it was a nightmare. And, it's, and we had it in 2008, we had it in 2001. It's about every seven years it happened. Now it's 2022 and it's already here. Here's another amazing article. Devastation. Here's how the energy crisis will accelerate the food crisis. Oh, that's very interesting. That's at organicprepper.com. Here's another one. The perfect storm has arrived. Famine, war, chaos and a dark, cold, dark winter. From the activist posts. Very interesting. I've read all these articles. And... Uh, that's why I put. I only put the ones on my website I actually read, and and that seem to have some sense merit to them, and not just a bunch of hot air or something. Look, look at this one. This is on a slightly different topic, but it, the effect is towards famine. Was what we're talking about: famine, financial crash, ruin to business, uh, etc. And that's why we have to be prepared. Um, be prepared for such a financial turndown, which none of us have seen in a lifetime, not on the, the scale of what's coming. And this is said by a lot of people now. Look at this crazy madness. Thank you, USA. Polish MEP praises US for destroyed Nord Stream pipelines. What utter madness. And that's from informationliberation.com. How can you praise the USA for destroying... The pipeline will bring gas to Germany, or in this case, Scandinavia, to keep people warm over the winter. What is the matter, what is the matter with these politicians? They don't care about their people. It's just all about money and control and so-called controlling the whole people in the world for their benefit. Madness. Another one here, oil cartel. This is the in the Middle East. Well, Saudi Arabia joins forces with Russia to cut supplies. Why they would do that, I don't know. Um, interesting. And here's another Great Reset, a blueprint for destroying the West. 
That is from prophecynewswatch.com. Here's a quote from that particular article. In order to persuade Westerners to give up more and to make do with less, the World Economic Forum and its globalist allies promise Westerners a future utopia. As with every similar lie ever told to justify the extraordinary acquisition of power, though they will fail to deliver, no society, after all, was ever promised more than in Stalin's 1936 Constitution of the USSR, or subsequently treated more abysmably. Despite its claim to the contrary, the World Economic Forum's mission directives intentionally reverse Western trends towards greater human freedom, social mobility, and more broadly obtainable wealth, or what in another era would have been rightly regarded as true liberal progress. Right, that was just from today on my website, just a few articles I collected today. And it's not, you go looking for, are we headed into economic crash, or is it already here, or how is it going to affect us, or should we get extra supplies in our house? It's everywhere. I mean, you don't even hardly have to look, it's everywhere, it's even in the, it's now even in the main media. They're worried. They're truly worried. They're um, given an idea some of the world's top experts. They said that when I reported a week ago about Black, Ma Black Monday in, in the UK, with the pound going down 5%, just because the new finance minister said they were going to do a few things, and it sent shockwaves around the world just on what the finance minister was saying. And they've had to reverse their decisions on finance since then. I mean, it's it's amazing that everything like dominoes is all connected together when it comes to finances. It's absolutely shocking. But anyway, that was what I've showed you so far is just a few articles just from my website from today. And I only just browse a little bit on economics for you no know, short time. This is from yesterday also that I put on my website. Buying opportunity before Fed pivot. Silver price is going to $500. This is also something that I would like to advise people because it's something you can do personally. I want to give an example. What happens if um, you get some money outside of your normal budget? It could be for many reasons why you get some extra money. Somebody could have sold a car or a house or anything. But you've got this extra money, you don't know what to do with it. Well, what are the experts saying right now? Well, the top experts like this guy, Robert Kiyosaki, that's a very rich guy, by the way, he's saying it's a very good time right now to buy silver. Silver, silver price has been held down for so long because mostly on the financial markets, they've invested in the stock market, which is now not worth doing anymore, that's what they say. And sometimes they invest in currency and they invest in housing and they invest in so many things. But now they're actually going back to currency. Currency, the price of the value of gold and silver was held back for a long time. But I want to say over the long run, even if you only have a few coins, you will find over the long run they always go up in real value. They really do. And therefore, I'd say to anybody out there who happened to get some extra money, for whatever reason, money you don't really use, I don't need, or, or say you're going to use it in a year's time for something, but you don't need it now. Right now is not a good time to keep money in the bank. Paper money is going to, it's losing too much with hyperinflation. Within a year, it'll be 25% less in value. So you're going to be losing a lot of money if you just leave money in a savings account or or you just leave it in the bank doing nothing. So silver is very cheap. We're not talking about gold here. We're talking about silver. You can get silver coins in the US, US for something like $20 and the UK for about £20. And what this world expert, Robert Kiyosaki, is saying, if you buy silver now, it's going to jump from $20 up to 100 and then in a few years' time, 
it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, be driven up to about five hundred dollars. Well, that's that's a that's a big profit there. Anyway, I don't see how you can lose. You know, when you're talking about such small amounts of money, like twenty dollars or twenty pounds, if you've got some spare money for whatever reason, money you're not going to use right away. I would certainly advise people to not keep it in paper. Not anymore. Not with hyperinflation. Silver and gold is what the the wise turn to when fl- inflation takes off, especially hyperinflation, which is what we've got now. So, like I said, it's not, it's not difficult to get hold of silver coins or even ones or $20 or even get five for $100, something like this. But it's very likely in a short time you'll double in value of what you've invested in. So I think it's a good hedge against inflation and hyperinflation so everybody doesn't have to lose any extra money they might have. Well, that's what the expert, one of the biggest experts in the world on this, is saying and been saying that in the last few days. Right, here's another article devastation here's how the energy crisis will accelerate the food crisis oh yeah i did mention that here's another and that one i mentioned too now going back here going back a couple more days it says with a double whammy hitting the system and the market going down 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 have gold and cash on hand well, that's true. Uh, you know, in other words, have silver or gold, but also have some cash in hand, not stuck in the bank. Right? Says, with a chance America becomes like Venezuela overnight. Apocalypse revisited. The entire global economy is breaking up on the rocks. That's from the Great Recession blog again. Here's another one. There are some serious rumors going round during the rounds about a major bank failure. Yeah, that was a few days ago. And here's another one from last week, the 29th of the 9th. They are very worried about what the government announced here in the UK. I mean, it's uh, the opposition party called for Parliament to be recalled, saying the new Prime Minister trusts her interviews make disastrous situation worse. It's... um. UK Politics Live. Liz Trust has shown she's reckless, clueless, and completely out of touch with people <laughs> who are increasingly worried about the impact of the disastrous Tory budget on their mortgages, pensions, and household budgets. Very interesting. Another one. Pensioners race to cash in pension pots as cost of living crisis bites. Unsustainable. All right. That's MSN.com. Economics. The wealth effect is expiring. In the aftermath of 2008, central banks and governments concocted a plan. If we lower interest rates to zero and inject liquidity, cheap credit, and make assurances to the market that will support it, monetize debt, buy mortgages, there will be a wealth effect felt by the general public, and they'll go back to borrowing and spending. Right. And that's from something called Market Screen May Day. They got us by the balls. Mainchai.mp. Well, now we're back to the 27th. Is the financial crash already here? Or is this just a financial tremor? Pound plummets on a new Black Monday. Right. And pound hits all-time low against the dollar. That gets us back to the last program I did like this about economics. As you can see, nothing's improved in the last week. In fact, if anything, we're getting more aware that it's actually been going on for quite a long time, since about, I think actually it started in the COVID years, so over the last three years, and it's been getting worse and worse. That is the situation. So the best preparation I'd say for everybody, as I said before, make sure you've got plenty of extra food in the house, plenty of water, if possible some alternative heating like a generator, 
We don't know how bad it's going to get, and I know people have been saying the financial crash in the last 50 years, I know. But in general, it is a fact that you do have economic turns, downs, or worse every seven years, and this happens to be one of those seven years, 2022. So that's about how I can see it at the moment. I would just encourage people, if you've got any extra money at all, I'm talking about small money here on the 20 dollars 20 pound amount you can buy silver coins for that amount and that money might double in a very short time according to financial experts and eventually quadruple with 10 times the value because why because you're getting inflation and hyperinflation and whenever you get that happening you look back to the early 70s when you get inflation hyperinflation those in the know they put whatever extra money they have not in the bank not in savings but in gold and silver Apart from now, for the other reasons, also, if you've got a family, you've got somebody to take care of, have extra food, water, alternatives to electricity and gas, because also we're going into the winter. So I think we need to think really very, very crystal clear about doing something that we don't normally do. Well, that's enough said from me this time. Have a great evening, everybody.